Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another YouTube video. The lighting right now is not being my friend. We've got this kind of backlight that seems to be creeping in. I do apologise. I don't really know what's going on with the lighting, but we're going to just power through. Hopefully the sun will go away, which I don't think I've ever said that in my life. But for the sake of this video, it needs to vanish. I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. As you have seen from the title, today is actually a nasty girl, nasty gal. I guess it sounds better probably with an American accent, like nas nasty gal or whatever. Um, haul video for you all today. And I am so excited to share with you all of the pieces that I've picked up. I'm gonna be popping them next to me here and talking them through with you guys, as well as trying them on so we can get our real thoughts and opinions. But yeah, before we crack on with that, if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, please go down there, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell on if you wanna be notified when I upload them on this channel. And also go check me out on Instagram. My name is just georgiamay underscore xo. So I would really appreciate that. Okay guys, so today we've got a nasty gal haul and I'm really excited about this video. This is not a sponsored post. However, these items were gifted to me. So it's in collaboration with Nasty Gal, but it's not a sponsorship. Just if any of you are wondering, I like to just be real from the offset. I have never shopped on there. I'm gonna confess that. I have never ever shopped on their website, but I have seen their videos popping up on YouTube so much lately. Is it just me? Everyone is buying from them. Their Instagram is really, really cute. And they do have like different pieces on their site that I don't normally sort of come across. So for me, I was really excited to pick out some bits and see what I thought of the items. So I did order a few things. Now they are quite summer based. They're definitely for your summer holidays. Hopefully if the UK wants to warm up at any given time, that would be lovely. They're that kind of thing. So I've got shoes for you guys, I've got accessories and I've got clothes. So let's just um, crack on with the first item. Okay guys, so I've hung everything up for this haul video. We're gonna talk through each item one by one. I also have shoes in the back down here and some accessories, which we will obviously get onto. I wanted to try and order a lot of stuff from the site to get a general consensus, consensus of what we're thinking. I'd also heard that the shoes on the website were really fabulous, so I thought, okay, now let's try a couple pairs of shoes. So, before we get onto these items, I'm gonna start with the first item that I have here and that is this top. So this is essentially a little crop top. Um, it's basically a white, I love the sleeves on this because they're a really great length, I feel. They're not like a little cap sleeve, they're something a little bit different and a little bit longer. Um, and then it just essentially goes into this tie detail. So you have the lower tie and the upper tie. I love this top. I absolutely love this top. I just think it's such an easy throw on piece and that was why I picked it up. Um, I think it looks quite different and almost like boutique vibes. So essentially you can just dictate however you wanna tie this up. You can do it super tight, super loose. Um, if you wanted to do a bit of the underboob trend, I think you could in a top like this in the summer with maybe some shorts. It's not my typical style, but I think you can get away with it. Or if you wanted to wear it how I would, um, I would just kind of pull this down like so and wear it like this. I'm currently wearing this with a pair of jeans and I will show you what that looks like. But I've just teamed this top with a pair of jeans but in the summer I would probably wear, wear it with a pair of shorts, um, anything really. I just really like it with denim. I love white and denim together. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I still have the tag in it so I do apologise. But I just wanted to pop it on for the beginning of this video because it's actually so nice and I was so impressed with this item. I know I'm going to wear this so, so much. I have a trip to Mykonos planned and I just get kind of Mykonos vibes from this. Um, so this is a new little favourite top of mine. Very, very impressed with the first thing from Nasty Gal. So I'm going to stick with the top theme and this is another top that I actually picked up from them. So it basically is a little polo so easy like you know in the summer when you just want an easy quick outfit like this with some denim shorts would be such a look i also think they do this in black now i did grab mine in a uk medium um so we'll have to see what the fit looks like i just love this i think it's very very cute love the little collar detail and the buttons so i'm gonna go and throw this on and we can see what we are thinking Okay guys, so this is the next little polo top and I absolutely adore this. I love the way it fits. Um, it's kind of a little bit loose down here. It's like not skin tight. It fits so, so great. The medium was definitely a good size for me. So if you are a UK 10, I would say go for the medium. Um, I love how it looks literally just with denim jeans and this like little scarf. I would wear this like with trainers. I'm probably gonna wear this today. I just think it's so sweet and 
I, I love how it looks. I, I actually want to go and get the black version. And they also now do this in a kind of like a t-shirt dress that has longer sleeves. And it just looks so, so cute. So this is pretty much what it looks like. It has that cute little collar. Very sort of preppy. Um, I just really like it. Again, I think it's easy. I'm all about sort of ease at the moment. And that's how I feel about this top as well. Like it gives me that kind of like easy, quick, put together look. And it's just so fast and that's just what I want. I want simple little tops for the summer that are easy to throw on with shorts. Both of these are doing that for me. You guys know I love white. Maybe you could tuck it in if you wanted, add a belt. I would like it with like a chunky cardigan. I just really do like this little crop. Um, yeah, I like it a lot more than I thought I would. And especially with like a little pop of colour in my hair. Okay, so next up I will share with you guys some shoes. This was an impulsive one for me. I don't typically buy this kind of shoe, but... Because I don't have anything like this, that was why I wanted to order it. I actually would love this shoe with this outfit. They basically are a pair of white block heel faux leather boots. I love them. I really, really love them. I love the kind of snake skin sort of print that goes down the side. The heel height is so perfect for me. I would wear this with jeans. I'd also wear this with like little kind of floaty skater dresses and skater skirts, but they just have a zip on the inside of the boot. And I don't know, I just really, really love them. I've got a lot of kind of boots, but they're, you know, very like winter shoes. Um, they're all black. I don't have anything that's sort of light. I also love this. It kind of gives me like a 60s vibe, this sort of shoe. I don't know why, but I absolutely love these and they were quite a good price. I had heard really good things about Nasty Gal shoes, so... It was definitely something that I wanted to explore and I can agree with everyone. The quality of these is really good, especially for the price point. I just think they're really sweet. Literally with jeans, a little top like this and a pair of boots. Like I would go for a drink. I would go to like the pub with this. You know what I mean? So it's quite um, an easy shoe. I feel like everyone just needs a block heel in their wardrobe, whether that's a plain black one, a white one. It's just... I wear mine to death, like I wear them in. So I'm very, very excited to actually give these a go and wear these on a little night out soon. They are very, very cute. Okay, so the next item I'm gonna try on is this little plaid dress, super cute. I grabbed this in a UK 10. So we'll have to see how the fit is. You guys know I definitely flip between a 10 and a 12. Love the plaid detail, love the little frill. It just is very, very cute. Totally up my street for the summer. Add a denim jacket with this and I am set to go. So I'm gonna go and throw this one on now. Okay guys, so this is the plaid kind of checked dress, red and white checked dress. Um, I feel like I need to sort of tie these a bit better. I need someone to help me sort of align the bows. I love the fact that you can tie these up. I think that's so pretty and girly and feminine and just, I really, really like that little detail. So you can kind of adjust the straps here. Um, and then it has these sort of like cups that sit like that. I love this so much. I wish I'd got the 12. It is a little bit short on me and probably a little bit too tight. So that's the only thing I wish I'd sized up in this dress. So if you're a similar size to me, I'd probably recommend going up rather than down because this is the UK 10. Um, but it's so lovely, like I am obsessed. I'm gonna stand back so that you can see. Okay guys, so this is what the little dress looks like. How cute is it? I'm obsessed with that frill or the bottom of the dress. I think it's really, really sweet. I also love the kind of plaid sort of checked detail that's going on and the little bow sleeves. Super summery, like I would wear this with some trainers and a denim jacket or I'd wear this with some flat sandals. Like I absolutely love it. It's just a little bit short. I am five foot seven. I probably should have gone up a size. I should know better by now um, because yeah, it's just a little bit too short. Like I maybe could get away with wearing it in say Spain or something with a sand or a slide. I think I'd probably get away with that, but not in the UK, I don't think. I think it's just a little bit too short. I am obsessed with this. Like, I think it's so pretty. I love the way it fits. I love the way it's kind of tight here and then has that little peplum bit on the bottom of the dress. I think it makes it really girly and I love it. I absolutely love this actually. Yeah, this is very, very sweet. So now I'm gonna go for something a little bit more comfortable. I actually got this kind of loungewear set. Um, and they call it a jump into bed frill sweater and short set. I grabbed this in a medium. So it basically is just a pair of cute little shorts that look like that. They look pretty small, so we'll have to see. And then a sort of um, slouchy jumper. So I'm gonna go and throw this one on next. Okay, so this is the next little set. I love this jumper, absolutely adore this jumper. It's kind of a slouchy, almost one shoulder. You could kind of pull it down if you want, but I quite like it how it sits like that. Um, ribbed kind of stripey, 
jumper i love this it's in a neutral shade i think it's very very cute i'd actually rock this with a pair of jeans like in the uk the shorts are really cute but i would only probably wear them as a loungewear piece um like in the house or like in the maybe like going to sleep with like a different top because i probably couldn't sleep in this um just because they're a little bit short on my bum but remember i am five foot seven so i have this issue um but they are so cute like how nice is this little set like really neutral really really sweet great for the really like hot weather if you're on holiday like i don't know i feel like i would wear this getting ready for a night out like doing my makeup or walking around at the villa or something do you know what i mean on holiday this is what i would kind of throw on instead of wearing like a dressing gown or something this is just a little bit more comfortable so i love the shorts they are a little bit cheeky but they're very very cute um and this jumper is so nice i know i'm gonna wear this not just as a loungewear piece but also just in my wardrobe in general i think with denim it would look so lovely and as you guys can see it is a kind of like jumper material it's definitely like a knit but not a heavy heavy knit um just sort of like a comfortable breathable knit but i love this little set very cute Okay guys, so now I'm going to pop something a little bit more glamorous on. I wanted to go for a range of stuff from loungewear to glam stuff to get my kind of overall opinion. Again, I grabbed this in a 10, so it'll be interesting to see how this item fits because it is that kind of like silk satin that doesn't really have that much given it. Um, so yeah, they call this the satin wrap midi dress in hot pink. I loved the colour. I thought with the tan, this was kind of everything. And the thin little straps. I'm still obsessed with that sort of 90s thin strap. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this one on and see what we're thinking. Okay guys, so this is the hot pink dress. And I didn't think I would like this as much as I do. I just put this on and I'm like, this is really, really nice. So firstly, I love the colour. I think the colour is so fab. It has the little thin straps that go like that. And then it has this sort of wrap bit here, which is so unbelievable flattering like I love the way that the material kind of ruches here but also nips you in at the same time I love that and then it has like a big split up the front this is gorgeous I'm going to stand back so you can see it okay guys so hopefully you can kind of see it it has this really big split here but it's still like it's not too high up i'm comfortable with where the split is and if i wasn't i would just add a little stitch in there but i'm absolutely fine with where the split hits i think in the summer i would be on holiday absolutely fine with this i think it's so nice really super summery you could do this with a wedge you could do this with a flat sandal um you could add a denim jacket to it you can even do that thing where people now like add t-shirts underneath or over the top of these kind of dresses to sort of dress them down i love how that looks um, but I'm so impressed with this. I really am. I think it's a really nice kind of summery dress. Um, I'm not sure if they do this in any other colours for those of you that are wondering. But like I said, I've got a few holidays booked. So this will definitely be coming with me. So this next item is definitely a little bit more bold and out there. This, this for me, is what Nasty Gal is all about. Like whenever I think of their website, whenever I think of their clothing, this is kind of what comes to mind. So it's just a white, really, really cute little dress, but it has this sort of net over the top with these puff sleeves. I'm thinking more for festivals. I'm thinking more for Mykonos, um, but I am very, very intrigued about it. So I'm gonna go and try this one on. This again is in a UK 10. Okay, so this is the kind of bold dress. Um, it's definitely out there. I actually love this sleeve kind of thing. I think it's really pretty, definitely very girly, but I get that it's not everyone's cup of tea because it is quite out there. Um, but I just, I like the way it's done. I think it's done in a really nice way. It also just gives me kind of like festival vibes. Like if I was going to a festival, this is probably the kind of route I would go down. Sort of like that white net floaty, like it's just my typical style. So it has a square, square across neckline and these silver little, um, iron hook things okay, so this is what it looks like on me oh, I, I absolutely love it like when i see it in the viewfinder i think it is a really really pretty dress but as you can see it has this little split here and it's just pulling a bit too much on my thighs i could have done with it going a little bit more kind of like that which i think will be better in the size 12 rather than the size 10 so i just wanted to let you all know but i do really really like it um i love this bit here like i'd actually love it as a top like with skinny jeans that would look really really nice as like a really cool top oh that's a that's an option the top section is not the issue it's the bottom half that's more of the issue because your girl got bigger thighs um but i absolutely love this bit here i think it's really really pretty and i've seen it on instagram i've seen it on so many girls and they look amazing in this dress so i'm gonna either go ahead and order the 12 or i'm gonna turn it into a top 
because this would be so cute as a top. The next item I've just popped on is this midi kind of blue satin skirt. Now I didn't think this was going to flatter me that much because I just thought I've got a bigger bum, I've got bigger legs, this sort of thing won't look good on me. So I've never really tried this trend, but I'm really surprised at how much I like it. I don't know if it's because this one is a little bit more kind of knee length, which I actually think is a bit more flattering on me. So I'll pan you guys so you can see. I actually did get this in a 10 and it has an elasticated waist. So you can kind of go for whatever size you know you would prefer i guess with this one i am obsessed with the color i think the color is so nice i'd actually wear this in england with some nikes like just make it really really casual so i'm gonna pan you down okay, so i hope that you can all see i have no idea what you can see because the camera is so far away from me um but it is this kind of blue satin sort of skirt i'm really surprised at how much i like this like i actually like it a lot more than i thought i would i think with trainers it's a very very easy kind of throw on item i've seen everyone on instagram rocking these like literally everyone but i think that this being knee length is a little bit more flattering on me than it would if it was going to hit kind of like my calf area um i love the blue color i think the blue color is really lovely and it feels really nice quality so this is de a definite yes this i really really like i even in a way quite like it with this top like maybe if i made this top like that um, with some trainers, with some white trainers. I think that could look kind of cute. Anyone else? So yeah, I'm very impressed with this skirt. Very, very easy. Makes change from wearing jeans every day in this kind of weather. And this is a bit of me. I'm very impressed with this. So next up, I think I have my favorite item in this whole haul video. I've already worn these. You guys might see them on Instagram. I'm not sure if you would have seen them by yet, by now, but I have been wearing these so, so much. Um, and yeah, I know I need to cut the actual thing out. Don't. So these are a kind of cycling short. These I did get in a 12 and they are a leopard print kind of cycling short. They're quite nice and long, which I love because I've been wearing them with like really boxy black t-shirts and they've been looking really, really good because there's enough short that sticks out if that makes any sense so i'm gonna go and pop these on now and we can talk about them okay guys so i have these shorts on right now just for your if any of you guys were wondering i wouldn't wear them with a top like this you totally can i actually think they'd look really cool with this top in black but for me personally like i just don't feel comfortable wearing cycling shorts with kind of like shorter tops i tend to wear them with like a boxy top so i have been obsessed with these they are a very, very simple there. Literally a cycling short that's quite long, which I love. They're a nice cotton material, super stretchy, very comfortable. Got these in a 12, really happy with the size that I went with. And I just am loving them. Like, I think they're really cool. This is what they look like on the bum, as you can see. That's why I tend to wear a longer t-shirt because they definitely grab onto your bum area. With a longer kind of black tee and just literally I have about that much of the cycling short kind of sticking out. They just look really, really cool. Like, I am a fan. My friend even said to me the other day, she was like, they're really cool. I like those. So I think you can kind of style these out however you want. You can definitely wear them with a shorter top if that's something you feel more comfortable with. They definitely, like, dress up a really simple outfit. So if you literally just want to roll out of bed in a big oversized hoodie, you can throw these on and you look like you've made a little bit more of an effort. So I'm kind of obsessed with these right now. Look at the destruction we've made in the background of this video. We have another pair of shoes from Nasty Girl and these ones are a wedge. So I'm not sure what you guys are gonna think, but I'm kind of digging these. Firstly, the heel height is a bit of me. It's not too high. Like I love the fact that this wedge is this height. Oh, so nice, because lately people have been make, making wedges just way too tall for people like me to wear. So I'm really happy with the heel height on this. It has this kind of like clear plastic bit here. Now, I have never worn a shoe like that, but I just saw it on the on the website and I kind of thought it would look quite nice. Like, I don't know, with like a bright colored nail polish, like an orange or a hot pink or something. I don't know, I kind of just liked that. If you want to wear a heel or a wedge and you struggle to walk in them, I would recommend something like this that goes around your foot because it just keeps your feet so much more secure in the shoe. I also love the look of it. Like I really like the look of a crisscross kind of going up the foot. It's white. It's going to go with basically everything in my wardrobe. Um, and I just really, I just really fell in love with these shoes. So these are the kind of wedges that I went for. These next pair of sunglasses are definitely a fun pair of sunglasses. 
sunglass of sunglasses i'm thinking definitely more kind of for a festival or something i just thought they were actually really really cute so i would definitely rock these to a festival i'd even probably wear them on a holiday if you're going somewhere maybe a little bit more out there so if you're maybe doing a festival in croatia or you're going to ibiza or something where you can kind of get away with this a bit more i love these i actually love these sunglasses with this top like if i did this top all the way up let's just see how cute would that be in a pair of like denim shorts super cute um i love the baby pink i love the ombre frames they're like fun sunglasses if you're like me i don't tend to spend a lot of money on my sunglasses because i change my mind on them i like them one minute i don't the next maybe i'll sit on them maybe i'll wear them in the swimming pool like i just like i'm a bit kind of like rough with my sunglasses so that's why i tend to sort of buy them on like online and these are really cute like really really sweet have your hair in a little ponytail or something oh my gosh i actually really like these i didn't think i was gonna like these as much as i do so these are the sunnies i ordered some jewelry um i don't normally order kind of jewelry and accessories online but i wanted to try out a range of things this next piece i thought was just a bracelet but it obviously comes as a set i love this um i know that this is kind of a spin on a more expensive version but i'm never going to be able to afford the expensive version so i love the fact that i can get this so this is the bracelet, which I'm actually in love with. I'm going to pop this on now and not take it off because I think it's really cute. Basically, is a little seashell sort of bracelet. It has these ties and it has like a gold one for the center of the shell. I don't know. I just really, really love this. I think this would look really cute with like loads of bracelets. Um, but I think it's really nice and summery. I love, I love this. Also came with the matching choker. So the choker just looks like that. And it would sit kind of like that. I really, really like this. Like, not my normal style, but there's something about it. And again, I would probably layer this up with some other gold necklaces that maybe go a little bit lower. You could wear like a really nice white swimming costume with this. Okay, guys, so that is it for this nasty gal haul. I hope you did all enjoy it. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite item is. I think mine has to be either this top or the white top from the beginning. I just think I'm gonna get so much wear out of these items. Like, this in particular is just so easy. Like. How easy is this for the summer months? I'm actually going to wear this now. So yeah, let me know if you guys did enjoy this video. I've never tried their website out before, so it's definitely fun to sort of try new websites with you and get a general overall sort of view of them. Um, but yes, if you do want to shop any of the items, I will leave links in the description box below. And that is it for today's video. Don't forget to go check me out on Instagram. Hit subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.